Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these three purple squares of different dimensions as you can see in this figure. And now we are going to calculate the sum of the area. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on the length of the largest square, which is the middle one. I am going to call it x units. So that means this is x unit this side. Since the square has all equal lengths, so that means this side is going to be x, this is x, and this is x as well. Now let's focus on the medium square, which is on the right hand side. As you can see, the total length we know this one is x units, and this is 11. So this one is going to be simply x take away 11, x minus 11. So that means this, the length of this medium square is going to be x minus 11. And once again, since this is a square, so that means each and every side length is going to be x minus 11. Just keep in your mind. And now let's focus on this smallest square, which is on the left hand side. We know this whole side length is x. This is 29. So this length is going to be simply x minus 29. So therefore, I can write this length as x minus 29. And now let's go ahead and calculate the total length of all these three squares. This small square, this one, plus this large square, and then plus this medium square. Let's go ahead and add them up. If we add them up, that's going to be x minus 29, and then plus x, and then plus x minus 11 and we know that this is equal to the combined length is 77 we equate it equal to 77 let's go ahead and simplify the left hand side combine the like terms so that is going to give us 3x minus 40 equal to 77 let's move this 40 on the other side become 3x equal to 77 plus 40. That means 3x equal to 117. Divide both sides by 3. So x turns out to be 39. So thus the length of this largest square, which is x and x, we figured out value equal to 39. So we know that this x has, uh, this large square has value x equal to 39. And for this medium one is going to be x minus 11. So 39 minus 11 is going to give us 28. So that means this medium has a length 28. And finally for this small one is going to be 39 minus 29 is going to give us 10. So the length of this small square is going to be 10. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and recall the area of a square formula. A equal to S square where S represents the side length of a square. And now we are going to calculate the area of each individual squares. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this largest square and its side length is 39. So the area is going to be just the square of 39. 39 square is 1521. So let me just go ahead and write down the area of this largest square is going to be 1521. Now let's find the area of this uh, medium square. We know the side length is 28, so area is going to be simply 28 square. That is equal to 784. So that means this side, the area is going to be 784. 
Finally, let's go ahead and calculate the area of the smallest square. So that is going to be 10 square. So that means this is going to be simply 100. So that means I'm going to write down 100. Now we are going to go ahead and calculate the total area. That means we're just going to add these individual areas. So that's the total area is going to be when we add these individual areas. So that turns out to be a 2405. So that's our answer turns out to be a 2405 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.